everyone, welcome to today's cloth diapering video. Um, I decided to do a cloth diapering routine video just because, um, one, I get a lot of questions from, from friends and family on, on my routine, how I do it, you know, um, and two, also because of what's going on in the world right now with this uh, coronavirus. There is a shortage of diapers and a shortage of wipes and there are a lot of moms and dads out there who are panicked and it kind of makes you have to think outside the box and that's what a lot of people are doing. So I thought, you know, what a perfect time to take advantage of doing this. Um, I do have my four kids home with me currently just because um, our school district anyways has closed. It's shut down for a couple weeks so they are home with me. Um, it is quite a process. so. Let's get started. So here is where I keep my cloth diaper stash. And currently it is empty. I have two diapers left. And this is normally when I do a load is when I am running pretty low. Um, I have my disposable diapers in here. And I have my DIY homemade baby wipes in there. They are all mangled and thrown however which way just because the baby likes to get into them. But it is what it is. I also have my paper towels here that I use for my liners. And that's it. So it's currently 10.30 a.m. and I'm just getting started. Okay, so here is my diaper pail that I store my diapers in. So every time I just open it, throw it in, and close it. Um, and I have a bag in there. And this is the same bag. Um, but I have to switch it out whenever it, it gets full. And then these are the wet bags, and I have two of them. They fit probably about like four diapers each. These are really good for to go, um, to store in your diaper bag for wet diapers, or you can even put wet clothes in them. Um, so I'm just gonna empty out um, all of this into the laundry. So to start out my load, I'm going to be doing a rinse cycle, and I do two rinse cycles. This one's going to be for 30 minutes. I'm going to put a second rinse on it, just so it rinses twice. Extremely hot water, and I do a super low just because I want the most abundance of water. And in both of my soak loads, I am doing no detergent, just water. So what I'm going to be using are plastic bags and disposable gloves. First, I'm going to open up the diaper and remove the paper towel liner and simply throw that into the plastic bag. And I'm going to unstuff the diaper and throw it into the water. As you can see, it does get messy, so I just try to make sure I get as much off of the diaper as I can before I throw it into the water. I'm now going to do the same thing with the bigger bag, and I'm just going to use it to push down all the diapers to make sure everything gets soaked. After I sanitize everything, I like to put a few drops of my lemon essential oil into the diaper pail. 
It makes it smell so fresh and deodorizes it at the same time. So now it is finished. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to do one more auto soak. Auto soak. Auto soak cycle for 30 more minutes. Um, it's going to be on the same setting. And all I'm going to do now is, I like to throw in about a cup of white vinegar, distilled white vinegar into the diaper and I just kind of all that eyeball it I'm like all mixed up with my words today and let it do its thing for 30 more minutes okay so now that both of our rinse cycles are finished I'm going to go ahead and do a wash cycle again all the same settings except for this time I'm going to do it on cotton and heavy and I'm gonna pull that out and I'm gonna get my soap started. So one thing a lot of people don't really know is when it comes to detergent and diaper laundry, less is more. It actually puts a lot of buildup on your diapers if you use too much. I just fill mine to the first line. Skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. So what I like to do is I like to separate all of my pocket diapers and I like to air dry them. So that's what I'm just doing now, and then I'm going to put all of the inserts and the washcloths into the dryer. The bags, I'm actually going to hang dry them. So I just make sure that they're still inside out and I hang them up to dry. Okay, so the diapers are done drying and I think the cycle goes for about 45 minutes. Um, so I'm just going to take them all out and I'm going to go stuff them. Making sure everything is dry is really important because you don't want to have to deal with stinky diapers. All I'm doing now is separating everything by like piles just to make it easier for me. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the different kinds of inserts um, that we have. And I have one, two, I have three different types of inserts that I use. Um, and then I have the pocket diaper. So this is called a pocket diaper because it does have a pocket in it. These are not waterproof, but you put the inserts in and it technically becomes waterproof. I'm actually, okay, so there is like a thin waterproof um, coating here however when the diaper does get pretty wet moisture will release through this so it is and it isn't in a sense okay so it does have a pocket and the pocket is where you put all of the liners and I have three different options that I use um, <clears throat> it doesn't really matter what you use these were purchased online these were purchased online they were all gifted to me though these I purchased from Walmart and these are just called flower sack towels. And you can purchase these like in the kitchen section at Walmart. Um, but I'll show you guys how I fold them. And all of these will be inserted into here. And that's what's going to make the stuffing for the diaper. And what I do is I do two inserts in each one for double absorbency. Um, these are called boosters. They are just like a thin, very thin liner that I pocket in between when I fold those. Um, to make them a little bit thicker and I have my um, baby wipes here which I use for my wipes um, all of my diapers and I'm going to get stuffing
Okay, so once I folded everything, I have the flower sack towels. I have the trifolds, which these are called a trifold because um, they they fold in, in threes, basically. That's how they fold. And what these are are just a cushioned a cushioned fabric of some sort. And the center panel has the most absorbency. It's thicker. It's like a double ply, and these are like a single ply. Um, these come in all different sizes too, so these are the medium ones. Um, I actually do have a large one right here so you can see the difference. Um, so these are just called trifold inserts, if you were to search those, but you can see the difference. And it, it's different depending on like the size of your child. Um, sorry for the screaming children in the background. We're playing outside right now. <laughs> um, so anyways, yes, those are the trifolds. And these are the microfiber inserts. And I have a bunch of different ones, because again, these were all gifted to me. So like these are, um, they're called charcoal bamboo inserts. Um, I feel these have less absorbency than these ones, but that's just my opinion. Um, and you can stuff your diapers with whatever, whatever you want, whatever is absorbent. You can even stuff them with like old t-shirts you can stuff them with muslin blankets, um, any type of like thinner baby blanket, I guess. But these are what I'm gonna be doing. So I have my pocket diaper. I'm going to be stuffing one, I'm just gonna grab one, and one. So two in each, and that's what's going to go inside of here. One thing I did wanna mention was I don't always air dry my pocket diapers. There are some times where I do throw them into the dryer. Um, if I'm in a hurry and I don't have any diapers left um, and I don't have all day to do laundry because as you can tell, I started around 10.30 and I didn't finish washing all of my diapers till about one o'clock. So, you know, it is a timely process having to rinse them twice and then wash them and then dry them. And again, um, everyone does things differently too. So if you don't want to rinse your diapers on you know, two different cycles twice, then you don't have to do that. Some people just rinse on hot water one time and then they'll wash. I prefer to rinse twice and then wash. Um, you know, but it's trial and error. So you try it out, you test it, see what works for you. And then if it doesn't work for you, you switch it up to whatever's most convenient. Um, like when I first started, you know, I, I did things, you know, kind of differently. Um, I found certain things that worked for me and I switched them up. Just like I used to air dry these all the time. You know, months down the line go and I'm like, I don't have time to wait for them. So I'm just going to throw them in. I preferred not to just because I thought they would last longer, the color would last longer. Um, but again, you know, you just, you find what works best for you. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is just double stuffing. I'm going to put, you know, two liners in and I'm just going to stuff all of the diapers. Um, but again, this is how I do things. Doesn't at all mean that's the way you're supposed to do it. Um, but it's just kind of an idea. I looked into cloth diapering Austin when I first found out I was pregnant. Um, so I did a lot of research. It took me, you know, almost eight months, I think, of my whole pregnancy to kind of figure out what I wanted, what kind of diapers I wanted, because again, these are pocket diapers. These are not the only option out there. I actually used um, covers and uh, liners for his first like six months of his cloth diapering life. Um, and those are just a waterproof cover that go on top of, you know, something like this and you snap it up just like a regular diaper but yeah this is how i do things it's not the way you know you may want to do it but it's just it's somewhere to start
Now lastly for my DIY baby wipes. All I'm doing is taking the baby washcloths and folding them in half. I like to stack them up and place them in an empty Huggies container wipe holder. Now I'm going to take two cups of hot water, um, one spoon of any coconut oil, one squirt of baby soap. I like to use the Baby Dove just because it smells so good. And my favorite essential oil, which is lavender, which is very soothing. Now I'm going to take everything and mix it up. Pour it over. I really hope you learned something you didn't know today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.